Welcome to another sort of convoluted video. As always, it's your boy Evil, and together we're going to talk about the new thing that's coming out when we get chapter seven and eight. Um, if you once we chapter seven and eight come out, we're going to get what is called weapon engraving, which is really probably the other true end game in the game. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick brief uh, explanation of it. So then that way you'll just be prepared for it when it comes out. So let's just go ahead and jump right in, okay? So what you're going to be doing is, is that once you are hitting chapter 8-5, you unlock gear engraving. In order to go take a look at it, you can just simply go to your character, click on their gear. And once you click on the gear, you click on enhance. And you're going to see this right here. So click on gear engraving and then this pops up. In order to get the gear engraving stones, you're going to have to go to the Radiant, uh, the Radiant Forging Dungeon, and you're going to have to go to either 10 or 11, 11 being the one where you get the high-end Radiant gems, uh, like this one right here, and 10, you're only going to be getting any one of these up to this right here. Each one of these provides kind of like a different buff, depending on which two that you combine, and what I mean by that is you click on this. And you're gonna see the resonance list. Now you can pause the video if you want to read what you want these do. I will go ahead and go slowly for you guys. But when you combine the two stones together, you're gonna to get one of these buffs. So based off of what characters you're gonna be using, really depends on which ones you're gonna be doing. These are gonna give you a significant stat boost to your characters. And I will give you guys a quick example. Um, I'm just gonna use a random we'll use this right here we'll click enhance we'll go gear engraving we'll click on this and then let's say we want to give it to we want to put this buff on there when you click on it it's going to have a chance of putting one to three random buffs attributes on it so you hit engrave boom we didn't do so good we only got one and it was only the max hp so you can decide if you want to keep this or if you want to go ahead and get rid of it and try it again so let's just click use don't remind me and we're gonna do it again because you know we don't like that buff. And we click this one, this one's not bad. P attack plus 12%. Now, of course, we want to get three stats, and that's kind of what the game plan is, is to get three really good stats. So this is really gonna be the real end game to the game here. This is what we're gonna be doing with a lot of our stuff, is farming that Radiant Forging to get a lot of these stones. And then once we unlock these stones and we get a bunch of them, we're just gonna be sitting here trying to get the best stats for our gear. And you will be putting it on your weapon and your trinket. And like I said, depending on which two, which stones you put together, really depends on what buff and resonant buffs you're going to get. And that's pretty much it. There's no, there's nothing crazy. There's nothing uh, ridiculous. It's pretty straightforward. I do like this a lot, but I do hate it because we're going to be sitting here and spending a lot of time farming that uh, radiant forging dungeon. And we're going to be spending a lot of time trying to rack up them stones. But I do respect the fact that it's in a dungeon that you can constantly repeat, which is, again, this one right here, Radiant Forging. And it's going to be these two right here. So once we get to the point where we're able to do difficulty 65 and we're going to be sitting here farming this for a long period of time, we're going to be getting this right here because I still think Radiant Powder is the most important, the most important um piece of upgrading gear that you need in the game and then you're also going to be farming these right here we can get the legendary engraving boxes right here or you can get the epic engraving boxes um, but again the goal is to get as many of these as you can so that you can go ahead and do the engravings and that's pretty much it for the engraving i'm keeping this short and simple um, i don't want to bombard you guys with too much information uh, please if you like what you see we're still trying to hit 1000 by the end of the year so a lot of you are watching the videos, but a lot of you aren't following. I would definitely appreciate if you guys can help me out so we can get that 1,000. I will be running a sort of Convalaria giveaway uh, once we hit 500. And that giveaway is going to be, well, I have some little um, extras that I managed to get that I won. And I'm willing to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and uh, give us a giveaway. So with that being said, guys, if we hit 500, We'll definitely go ahead and do a giveaway. If we hit 1,000, 
we'll get I'll do another giveaway at 1000 as well for something else in sort of combo area uh, we'll have to see once we hit that goal but make sure you guys like subscribe bell notification tell your friends to all of them and yeah I will see you guys in the next video y'all take care of yourselves peace